Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Mia, and today I'm gonna be showing y'all some of my favorite fashion pieces. It's been forever since I've done a video on style or fashion. I've been doing all this beauty content, but I'm so happy to be showing you guys some of the things that I've been loving lately. My wardrobe has leveled up. <laughs> Oddly enough, it's leveled up a lot during quarantine. We're really not going as many places, but you know, I've been doing a couple socially distant things and wearing my fits. So I'm gonna be showing you guys some of my recent purchases that I love and just some things in my closet that are getting all of my attention lately. You know, they say save the best for last, but I honestly can't say that I agree. We're kicking it off with my babies. My Margiela Tabby Boots. I've been wanting some of these for a long, long time. I just haven't really found myself wanting to commit to such a purchase. But you know, sometimes a girl has to do what a girl has to do. So this one site had an early sale and I went ahead and got my babies. Let me show y'all. I did go ahead and grab these gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous ivory boots. Y'all, something about a white boot just sets things off. It gives me very 70s vibes, you know, the go-go girl type, me a go-go, you know, I'm a go-go girl. Okay, let me stop. But no, seriously, it gives me like very 70s vibes and I, I knew I wanted a white boot, but for this boot, for some reason, Ivory was calling my name more than white. I feel like ivory suits with browns and siennas and earth tones a little bit better than white. Um, white is just so stark. And for something like this, I knew I wanted ivory. They look absolutely gorgeous. I, I'm in love. I haven't even worn them yet. They're literally brand new. They just came two days ago. I'm so thirsty, yes. But they're just so freaking cute, bruh. Like, I love a classic boot, y'all. I love, love, love a good shoe, okay? I haven't worn them yet, but I'm really looking forward to pairing these with some, like, pants suits, which is gonna, I'm gonna show you guys some of my favorite suits lately. I love a two-piece suit. It's just so clean and so classy. So, so androgynous, my favorite. I'm gonna be pairing it with that. Maybe, like, some jeans. We'll see. Sticking with shoes, I'm gonna be showing you guys my Yul Yee boots. These, if you're if you follow me on Instagram, you saw me wear these, and I love these babies. Yuli has caught my attention for a long time, y'all. Um, the brand is just bomb. It comes. I like that the boots come in a dust bag. I love dust bags for shoes because I don't always keep boxes. I try to as long as I can, but if I don't keep the box, I'll put them in a dust bag. Um, and I like that it comes with a dust bag. But these are my boots. They're a sock boot very sculptural yul Yi is based in korea it's korean brand um and they are known for just their sculptural shoes i love them their actual their pr company actually reached out to me to send me these and i'm so grateful because i have been eyeing their pieces for a long time and i love them like it's like a semi pointy toe croc leather croc embossed leather rather and then we have like a silver ball this is just this is my type of shoe if y'all know me Y'all yeah, know, I love these. They remind me of my Dries Van Noten boots that have the same like little ring thing and then the heel kind of comes out like this. These are just so cute, y'all. These are my babes. So if you follow me on Instagram, you saw me when I did a fake little three-story um, unboxing of these and these are my Balenciaga pumps. I am in love with these. I bought these secondhand. I believe they were like 150 something crazy something cheap y'all um and i got these in the summertime i knew these would be a staple shoe that i would wear out and so i wanted to get them they are from i believe 2017 collection but i was like i don't care what collection it's from one thing i love about shoes is getting something that's timeless and that's going to wear well and age well i know these will i know those tabbies will the yo yi they're a little trendy but i could see them lasting for a while as well and so they come with a dust bag as well these were used so things are a little dingy don't mind but the shoes are in great condition so these are my babies can y'all say a damn shoe look geometric <laughs> love these I literally love this shoe so much. 
they were literally mint condition when i got them like all this wear i did that it looked like whoever bought these tried them on and that's it they were such good condition when i got them and i got these from the real real i know i've heard mixy reviews from them sometimes people have said they bought like chanel or like something higher end and it was fake or something the real real is supposed to have a thorough authentic authentic authentication yeah authentic authenticity authentication authentic y'all <laughs> They're supposed to have a really great process and you know make sure things are authentic and you know i just went out on the whim with them i bought like three things from them i bought a fendi bag from them once and then i bought these and i love these y'all i also bought my chanel shoes from there speaking of which i was not gonna show y'all now we have one more shoe y'all my favorite chanel sling bags i love these like i mentioned i got these on consignment as well i got them from um the real real they came with like the autistic i can't say that word <laughs> they came with the card and they were just bomb y'all i love this shoe like it's a super classic shoe i've seen a couple of these online i saw these i was like i need these for one i love sling bags two i love the two-tone chanel classic and then y'all know i love florals these flowers are just so unique i loved this shoe I've only wore them once so far, but this is definitely another pair that will get a lot of wear from me. Um, and I love them, y'all. Then I said I was done with shoes, but I'm gonna throw these in there really, really, really quick. The Rouge family. We'll, we'll transition into some items from Rouge. Um, and I'll show you these. These are the Camila Mules. These were a hit from their summer collection. I love them, love them, love them so much. I love them so much clearly that I had two colors. They were gifted to me by the brand. So sexy, so cute. I only really got to wear these like once this summer. I want to wear them more, um, but they're so cute. I actually didn't even take the plastic off the bottom. Am I crazy? <sighs> but yeah, these are so cute. I can see these getting a lot of play in the summer. I'm just so dang on messy that I like s bumped them and got them all ugly on the back, but outside of that i love those shoes they were my favorite when it was warm so sticking with rouge i'm gonna show you guys a dress that i love from them they sent me a beautiful package um this is their christmas box i'm super happy to get this it came with a card and the card just reads dear Mia, thank you so much for your kind support this year hope you'll love these little treats from Corley. and y'all Y'all know I did the Rouge review video for this lipstick and the other and I had bought those products out of you know my pocket but they kind of found me from that video and they've just been sending me gifts ever since and it's really really sweet of them so thank you to them. I will say just as a disclaimer I haven't done any paid work with them it just has been giftings from them thus far and you know for a content creator paid work is the end goal because we want to support and sustain ourselves at the end of the day but i just appreciate them for even reaching out to me and finding me from that video so that's just a little sweet note but it opens like this this box is freaking quality i love this box um, but the real star of this show is this gorgeous gorgeous dress this is the cleo dress in noir and oh it's so gorgeous look at it it gives me very 90s. It's something I feel like Carrie Bradshaw would wear. It kind of ties even Holly Berry during that time. I love this cut. This I forget what this is called, but I love that cut right there. And then it just ties in the back. I'm going to try this on for y'all too. So we'll see how it looks. And then also in the box just came one of their lip palettes, which I don't have this shade yet. So I'm excited to try. And it just has, it's called Madam. This is the Madam palette. So thank you Rouge. Speaking of which, another one of the items I've loved is this freaking sweater. This was a spring sweater, but it's mohair. So I feel like it can kind of go spring, whatever, whatever season you really want it to be. And I've been wearing it this winter and I love it. It's super cozy. It's so cute. Um, I like the little like shoulder thing that it has going on. And then I just like the overall fit of it the buttons everything about this is super vintage and i love it speaking of which vintage let's talk about my hair y'all 
how do y'all feel about it be honest in the comments so the next thing I'm gonna show you guys are some suitings and I've been loving suits lately these three are all from Bomb and Forgotten and I love this brand it's a Danish brand and this is one of the suits I recently received from them it is a two-piece suit come oh the pants are about to fall comes with pants um gorgeous suiting gorgeous 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 and it's so just so cute I love two-piece suits and this one is um gonna pair really well I feel with those tabby boots I'm gonna wear that as a style I just think that's gonna be gorgeous y'all um love that suit then I have another one which is also from their most recent collection the pre-spring and it is oh sorry it is this one and so the jacket is like this it's neoprene it buttons up like this and look at it it's long it's very long but I'm loving this suit y'all this is so cute it's called the Josephine car coat I'll insert a picture of what it looks like or what it's supposed to look like on but I'm loving it I've never had a neoprene suit but I love the way it looks on and both of the pants fit very nicely I think that's what I love most about their suits is that they're very tailored next thing we have is another suit and I wore this one already this is a little older I received it in like summer but I love this material once again this is just a classic suit bruh they have great suits um this is what it looks like and this color is just so timeless y'all I wore this when I was in Denver I wore it when I did my Pandora partnership and I just love this suit um and then there was another suit I have for them I'm just gonna insert it for fun but it was not from 2020 it was from 2019 but it's this blue gorgeous one it was from their exclusive my Teresa collection stunning stunning okay love that suit love all their suits and then I'll show you guys one more suit which is a black on suit <laughs> so this is the last suit and my top needs to be dry cleaned I got a spill on it and I haven't actually sent it to the dry cleaners yet need to ASAP but this is a gorgeous suit I did a giveaway this summer with Ama and Woka and I gave one of my followers this suit as well it's so gorgeous my favorite thing about it is the buttons the buttons are like super marbled it's like a four button panel both all four button and then these it has like a little flurry ruffle at the end so the first bag is something I've wanted for a long time and it's just a Jacques Mousse bag and I love I got the little not the little but I got the little bambino and it's so cute comes like so super adorable I knew that I wanted one of his mini bags but Shakira or Shakira wasn't giving me what I needed to give um, it's a cute bag but the oblong circle and all that it was a little too trendy for me in my opinion um, even though it's one of his classics I love this one it's just much more simple it's so cute I can see this really like standing the test of time um, I found it on a bit of a discount which side did I get this from Bergdorf's um, and it's like this super cute super cute and you can wear it without the strap as well show y'all which I also think is super cute but since it's so small the strap is kind of best but if you're going like on a brunch or something cute it looks adorable it's just like a little coin purse love this bag I got this for I think like 500 now do I regret spending so much on a mini bag I'm trying to get my priorities in check I love fashion y'all I'm not gonna lie to y'all but until my bank is really racked up I'm done so I'm glad I hope y'all enjoyed this video y'all won't be getting that much out of me in terms of um, big investment pieces luckily like some of the stuff I showed y'all were gifts and then some of them were um, second hand like the two shoes but I I can't be spending that much money on on items but this I felt like was an item I really wanted for a long time I had a lump of money and I was like you know what girl get your bag because we deserve nice things too sometimes um but I do just want to stress that I'm not by no means am I encouraging y'all to go out and splurge on items y'all don't have money for because that's not okay because even me I, I was feeling the sting of these purchases um 
but yeah so something nice here and there is is cool but i definitely won't be coming on here doing these often just because being honest with y'all that's not where i am with my money i'm really trying to save and i want to own a home and it's so many other financial goals i want to reach and you know buying luxury items will kind of hinder me so just a little disclaimer there and then i have my lovely stoled bag and this bag is so trendy and so cute when this was first released i knew i wanted it i knew i wanted it and i think this is i forget the color they call it but i call it venetian red because i'm a painter um but this is a cognac -y, more so ready bag and i love it, it says stowed at the top you can remove this if you want to and just have the handle and then it magnetically closes right here but this is so cute this was a valentine's gift from my boyfriend he knew I wanted this bag and he surprised me with it and I was the happiest girl alive. So this is one of my favorite bags y'all. It's just once again I love rich earth tones. They won't go out of style. This is so cute and it just sits here like this. It's just a very cute bag. Very darling. Um, and I love it. Even though the style is very trendy the, the overall look of it is super timeless. And wait hold up. The quality. <laughs> the quality of it um and so this one comes in a dust bag as well like this and it just goes tucked into the top of me closet and that is all i'm gonna show on today's episode of my favorite fashion pieces i hope you guys really enjoyed this it's been a while since i've done fashion and honestly it's right up there with beauty for me so y'all are gonna see more styling and fashion videos i just have to get my stuff together y'all bear with me but I'm, I'm back as y'all can see I've been consistent on my last couple of videos and it's not slowing down we're going for 2021 consistency so stay tuned and I hope to see you guys on another episode see y'all later and bye